Hi guys, Rebecca Creates here with my first video project share for Globland.com, which is a company that I did an unboxing for. Um, they sent me some dies for review. And the first one I'm going to show you, this is the item number, but I'm actually going to link it in the description box below. It was this really cute bumblebee die, and I was just thinking it's still kind of like, you know, midsummer, and everybody's still doing like summery themed and there's a lot of bumblebee projects out there so I thought it would be really fun to cut it out and it came out so cute I'm so happy with this so this is a little extra one I made like an, an embellishment that I could add to a project but I basically cut this out in two layers of yellow and black and then I just layered it um, I pieced some of the black pieces back into the background just to give it some like shadow and I did kind of um, color in and then stickles to give it that cute glittery effect. So I made these embellishments. I just made a bunch of the bumblebees. And then what I did was use it to create some projects. So the first one is a memory decks card. And I was trying not to do too much layering, although I am kind of bad at layering. Um, but I wanted a lot of the sequin mix to show in the background. So can you just see all the fun sequins and things that are in there um so i used vellum against this yellow cardstock and i just used some um, trim from my stash and this cute grass punch um, i made a cute little banner here and then these are the bumblebees so this is how they look on the project and i did put a few little embellishment sequins there but just so happy with how it came out I just think they're so fun and so cute. So then I also created, um, just for a little extra fun, some ATC cards. And I did the same thing. I used vellum to make it a shaker, like a full shaker. And then I just did some layering there. That's the bumblebee um, die cut with the stickles accenting it. Same thing, the little grass and the little pieces. Um, but can you see all the fun shaker bits in it? I love it. And it's a pretty smooth shake too. If you guys um, want a tutorial on how I make these full vellum sheet shakers, let me know. So here's another one. In this one, I just added a bunch of yellow sequins to the mix to make it pop against the black. And I did the same thing with the banner and the grass and the cute little bee die cuts. I just think this would be really cute as an embellishment on a rosette or something. So um, I had a lot of fun playing with this die. And if you guys are not familiar with the globeland.com website, I will link them down below. Um, they also offer $5 off of any order that's $40 or more. Um, and that's always on their website. And I'm going to link this die in the description box below um, i believe it was about four dollars it was very inexpensive i'm also going to link my unboxing video if you haven't seen that video you can check it out and take a peek at the other dies that i got free for review that'll be coming up in my next project share and that one's going to be halloween themed so um okay so let me know what you guys think of my um little projects with this globe die and i want to say thanks for watching Bye, guys.